petrol cars, diesel cars, your favorite substance, electric cars, and the day has come to drive a hydrogen car. Welcome to Toyota Mirai fuel cell hydrogen. I think I got that name right. Well, essentially, it's a hydrogen Toyota. Now, hydrogen is a gas that is found in plants, in water. It takes about three quarters of the earth. Do correct me if I'm wrong, I am blunt after all. It is lighter than air, very pure, and has been used as a source of energy for many years in forklifts, generators, submarines, but not so much in the automotive world. And one wonders why. Is it because the technology is too complex to tackle, or is it a question of refueling stations, which we'll get to later. So if you're interested in the alternative sources of energy, please do grab a pack of non-fattening crisps, glass of wine perhaps, sit back, relax whilst I show you my knowledge and competence and blabber on for a couple of minutes. praise Toyota's determination to seek alternative drive solutions. Whilst Mazda is focusing on improving their newly developed combustion engine, Toyota is focusing on hydrogen. And they've been doing this for the past 20 years with a great deal of success because Mirai is the very first car in the world that has been built from scratch to be hydrogen that went into serial production. Together we fall. And whilst the whole world is going absolute bananas with electric cars, Toyota believes it is the hydrogen that is the future. And there's absolutely no argument about the fact that Japanese have a pretty good gut feel that is backed up by even greater competence. It was Toyota in 1997 that has started the production of hybrid cars. In 1997, Elon Musk was still probably playing in a sandbox or playing computer games. Back then, and for a good couple of years, people did not believe in hybrid cars. They were laughing about hybrid cars. And today, it's actually quite hard to imagine which brands are not offering hybrid cars, which tells you a thing or two about Japanese competence. Always were a dreamer as a child. And Mira is exactly where the very first generation of Toyota Prius in 1997 was, at the very beginning of its journey. It has taken Toyota 10 years to build 1 million hybrid cars. And for those who are laughing at hydrogen or perhaps not taking it seriously, well, I suggest we speak in another 10 years. God, I'll be crusty in 10 years, so will I be alive? Maybe LC500 will actually kill me the way I drive. Only God knows. You follow me to so how do you refuel a hydrogen car? Just like a regular fuel car. It takes about three minutes to pump about four kilograms of hydrogen. That will give you a range of about 400 kilometers, which is a great result. What isn't so great is the network of refueling stations in Switzerland. Go on, give it a guess. How many do you think we've got in the whole country? refueling stations that's right Germany for example has about 65 and to give you an idea the section between San Diego and San Clemente has about 100 of those refueling stations so it's safe to say this is rather limited in Switzerland and of course the prices of this car in America it costs about 57,000 to purchase this car in Switzerland it costs a whopping 90,000 I find it extraordinary that Toyota actually can somehow sell these cars. Not only is the refueling so limited, extremely limited, but the price is actually quite high. And of course, these two are very much linked together. And it comes down heavily to politics. Oh well, Swiss government, I suppose, prefers electric cars. Well, we shall see when they start chucking those batteries into the, our clean and pure air here, what's going to happen then. But let's not get into politics, shall we? It's just a subject that upsets me. All right, enough about the politics. Let's focus on the car. This is a big car. You can't quite see it on images, but the body is nearly five meters long. It is just as much as BMW 5 Series or Audi i6. And I know looks are very much a subjective thing, but oh well. Oh dear, you can't quite call this thing beautiful. I mean, it is interesting, it is futuristic. After all, Mirai in Japanese means future, but it's not exactly pretty or voluptuous. 
but the new Mirai concept car, now that is beautiful. And somehow, I'm not sure why, but I was thinking I'm gonna be driving the new Mirai concept car. And then I arrived and I saw this, and I, oh well, living in a blonde lane, that's what happens. <laughs> The good news was, as soon as I hopped it in this car, I looked at the interior and I said, wow, that's actually really lovely. It's a lot more subtle than the exterior and there's a lot less craziness on the inside than on the outside of this car. And actually lots of beautiful materials and decent styling, I like it. By the way, the tanks are under my bum, under the seats, and actually feels quite comfy. Within the very first few minutes of driving this car, I actually said out loud, Toyota, damn, you just know how to build cars. How does it feel to drive this car? Well, like a regular car, just a lot more relaxing and quiet. I actually prefer this to all hybrid cars and majority of electric cars, with exception of very few. And why? Because it feels very smooth and very natural. It has surprisingly precise steering. What else is very precise is the brake pedal. It, it is just right. You doze it and you get exactly what you want. It's not greedy, it's not grabby, like it tends to be in electric cars. Cars. Now, enough about the braking. We've got um, eco mode and power mode. So, enough about the slowing down kind of situation. Let's pop it into power mode and accelerate. The acceleration is effortless, it is salubrious, it is simply there. Now, under the bonnet, I've got an electric motor, which is the one that comes from Prius, pumps 155 horsepower altogether. 9.6 seconds, 0 to 100, it doesn't seem like much, but actually, for 155 combined horsepower, this car feels surprisingly quick and very agile and nimble. And let's not forget about the size, I mean, it is 5 meters after all. The suspension here is soft, it absorbs most of the bumps and imperfections, and quite frankly, all in all, this is rather a heavenly ride. My final thoughts on this car. You see, both Mirai and the technology are continuously improving, and this is just the beginning of the journey. And I'm really looking forward to not only seeing the next generation of Mirai, but also seeing what will happen with the industry, with electric, with hybrid, with hydrogen, etc. But for now, I think it's really vital uh, that uh, Toyota focuses on increasing the number of refueling stations because let's be honest, it is just simply putting people off purchasing this car. But all in all, I, th I actually think it's a wonderful car and I really liked it and I'm positively surprised. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye. Come inside, it's very nice and cozy in here. You've got a seat heating. Come here, little ginger cookie. Look how beautiful you are. Well, Toyota is going to murder me when I scratch this vehicle, but it's okay because you're worth it. It's just like a game with men chasing, or perhaps you're a woman, which explains everything very clearly. Human <laughs> little boy. Not sure why I'm calling you a boy, but. Oh, come here. Oh, honey, I love you. Shit, I gotta do a recording. Bimbo. I am such a bimbo. <laughs> Playing with a puss. Right. <sighs> Where was I? Now let's praise Toyota's determination.